Hello guys, I'm Real Academy here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you three things that I've discovered. First thing is how to change your uh, settings from low to ultra uh, by opening the setting menu. How to enable the VR walk mode so you, you can use your hand but you have to teleport for navigation and how to enable the beta version which allowed us to use mouse and keyboard but it does not allow you to interact with buttons or anything that requires hands. So let's start. First I will be t uh, showing you how to enable the con console. So open your Half-Life directory, Half-Life, go to game, Half-Life VR and go to configuration and scroll down till you find the f file called launch res configuration and if you do not have the file just create a new one with the following syntax and just type con enabled to true and keep in mind that your user keys default configuration should be like this uh, it sh should have a button to open the console which will in our case is this button here and make sure that your keyboard layout is English United States so now if we launch the game you, you can see we have the console enabled and now if you want to change your settings go to map startup to load the startup map and once it has loaded a menu will pop up press E to accept and E to change the options use the mouse to uh, choose your selected dialog and press E to enter that dialog so if you go to options press E and you can change whatever you want here if you want to change the setting uh, in the blank area of the scroll bar press E and you can change your performance from here uh, I've set it to ultra and you can also start a new game here start new game start this and the only things that you can actually change that work are the difficulty and weapon hand the movement type does not change regardless of what you set it to so now that we have our console enabled and our settings set to whatever we like I'm going to tell you the two different movement types I've discovered the movement type that we're going to talk about first is the fake VR mode. So go ahead and launch Half-Life VR. And before you launch Half-Life VR, uh, go to properties and in short, you do not have any extra console commands uh, put here in the target field. So go ahead and launch Half-Life VR. Uh, map and load the first intro map. So after you're in the game, you should be able to move using mouse and keyboard but we do not want that what we want is uh, to type in fake and enable fake VR test set to 1 and enable fake VR space set to 1 and now you're going to have to reload the map by typing in reload in the console And now, uh, after the map has loaded, open up the console, type in the same thing as before, fake VR test 1 and fake VR 1. Now press the tab button to teleport. As you can see, it teleports. Now you will probably notice that the height is small. So in order to configure the height, what you're going to have to do is VR underscore enable set to 0. Press the space button to move up and set this value back to 1 so now our height is bigger than it was before uh, what I would recommend uh, you to do is bind a key to automatically do this so go to your half-life directory half-life game half-life VR and open up the configuration folder scroll down to the user keys default and now just scroll down till you see this mouse 1 mouse 2 hit enter tab tab and inverted commas mouse 4 you can choose whichever key you like but this is the easiest for me so if I press the mouse button what I want to do is enable uh, height editing mode so I'm going to just type VR underscore enable underscore fake underscore VR so this command here VR enable fake VR space 0 I'm just going to set it to zero so we're exiting the fake VR and entering the height editing, editing mode 
and just press two times tab inverted commas mouse five just tab vr underscore enable fake vr one so we are getting back in the fake vr mode and exiting height editing so now if you use the mouse 4 and mouse 5 buttons we should be able to reset our height for that you're going to have to quit and reload the game so open the game up again open the console type in the map you want to go to a1 intro in my case so now now open up the console type in fake and set this to one first and then all you want to do is enable height editing mode by pressing the mouse 4 button press space to move up press mouse 5 button to enable uh, fake VR and exit height editing mode so this works press right mouse button to move so movement also works and now if you want to now by default the left hand mode controls the movement so when you have the left hand mode uh, enabled if you press right mouse button you will be able to move and if you press uh, left mouse button you will be able to pick up things using your left hand so let me move here closer and if I press this button left mouse button I will pick up from the left hand leave it drop the weapon if I press tab I will be able to put, uh, pick it up using right hand as you can see and uh, if I pr press tab again left hand right hand left hand right hand so this works if you want to be able to pick up the thing using both hands press shift and then press the left mouse button and both hands will now pick the thing up and uh, so press if you cannot move it means you're uh, using your right hand so press tab to enable movement mode uh, and as for weapons let me just enable the impulse 101 uh, let me just enable the cheats. Sorry, you have to enable the cheats uh, for this command to work. As we cheats one, impulse one zero one. I now have all the weapons. You can shoot these weapons. Move, press tab to enable the right hand, and I can select whichever weapon I want. You don't have to reload. In this mode, you can also interact with objects. So let me just move to here switch to my right hand switch to my left hand by pressing tab press the button Alex, you can see the word it's good dad metro cop movement is normal same for the combine patrols how's it going in the stop well, i've used oh, speed hack to uh, make this faster yeah now the door has opened i can move here and let me just press tab, Mo open this up, and now I can navigate, enable movement mode. So yeah, you, as you can see it works. The game is working to some extent. Now there is one problem, although uh, you'll know when I get there. Keep pressing the right mouse button to move up and then leave it. So you can see everything is working perfectly, however some hand events don't work such as the gravity gun, you cannot use the gravity gun.
miraculous names. He didn't steal anything. No one has to see anyone! After new map loads, you still have to adjust the height. So now that this scene has been loaded, you can see our height is back to uh, very small again. So press the mouse forward button. And you'll notice that uh, you cannot move anymore like you could before. Uh, so in order to fix this, you're going to always have to do VR underscore fake. After every uh, level load, you're going to have to re-enable this command. So VR test 1. And then you're going to do VR space 1. And now reload this level. Reload, sorry. Reload. Now if you were to... Now uh, type this command again, fake VR, VR test 1, and fake VR 1. So now if you press the mouse 4 button, you will be able to adjust your height, move as well, switch to your hand. Uh, yeah. Now uh, here's the problem, it's very hard to do some tasks, such as taking this headset, Is it's very hard. As you can see, it's uh, not easy to do, but uh, f but for things like this, you need the developer commands, such as uh, c int underscore fire wrestle So you can. Now you've pick, picked this up, so you, you can use these console commands to uh, pick up things that are very hard to do, but putting it up on your ear is going to be very hard. So I suggest that you skip this part. Okay, so uh, as you could see from uh, the previous clip, those are some shortcomings of uh, using this method. Now another method is to enable the Gordon Freeman model and move using your keyboard. But the drawback of that method, this method is that you will not be able to use things. So you're going to, again, have to no clip past a lot of the areas. So just download the files that are linked to in the description. Go to uh, description and then just launch Half-Life VR. Load up the console, type in map and A1. Okay, so now you can move using the WSD keys, which you could uh, honestly pre previously, but there's one difference. So if we enable cheats, set to one. Now if we type impulse 101, you'll see we get the half-life weapons. The gravity gun works. Press the uh, right mouse button to bring these things closer. You can shoot these as well. Uh, so the gravity gun works using this method, but, but uh, using buttons uh, does not work. I will link to these files in the description. So uh, if we want to fire this, we can't. We cannot use this button. In order to be able to use this, we need to enable the developer commands. So go quit, properties, and space, and then just type these commands. I will link to these in the uh, pinned comment or description. Now if you launch Half-Life Alex, map, the first map, speed hack, so yeah, uh, now it it works. Uh, let me just enable SV underscore cheats one impulse one oh one. So now I have the weapons, and I can execute cons uh, developer commands such as entity fire call underscore button relay and hit trigger trigger Alex, and now as you can see it has loaded but there's a problem you cannot interact with this door no matter what so this is the problem I've been trying to fix and if it does get fixed somehow then I will post an update video so subscribe to me and press the bell icon if you want to be notified of a fix as soon as possible so just press E to open the door and shit like that. You can press E to open the doors. 
need to open the door but this just does not trigger because for this we have a different uh, name for this button instead of instead of call button relay so this is uh, elevator button relay or something so I'm trying to work a fix for this but it will be a while so you're going to have to either wait or play using the previous method that I described I will upload the configuration file as well so Half-Life VR configuration if you have this folder by default name it uh, rename it to cfg.alt and copy the folder that I linked in the description to your Half-Life VR directory so that's it for today hope you guys liked this video if you did please do like share and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in my next update.